You will only see one of three very cool cutscenes in the Final Fantasy VII Remake depending on your choices. At the start of chapter 14 you either talk to Tifa, Barret or Aerith, but when you play through the game you think that the one that you got is really the only one there is. Well, that's not the case. So in this video I want to showcase all the three different cutscenes and also tell you how to unlock them. But of course, spoilers for the story up to chapter 14, so if you're not at chapter 14 yet, then you might want to come back later. A like on the video would be super appreciated, and let's go. At the start of chapter 14, you will all sleep at Aerith her house, and in the night, Cloud wakes up and walks outside, and here you see either Tifa, Aerith or Barret. And this all depends on the choices you made prior to this point. But yeah, again, you only see one of these cutscenes during your first playthrough. So to trigger the other versions, you need to use the chapter select that unlocks at the end of the game. I will show you all the cutscenes in this video, but first let's talk about the choices that have an impact and that can lead to the specific scenes. And it is actually pretty easy if you understand the pattern. So chapter 3 is important if you want to get Tifa her cut scene because if you complete all the side missions in this chapter you get this special scene where you can choose which dress a Tifa can wear and as we discussed in my all dresses video the choice that you make here impacts the dress that she wears in chapter 9 and then later at the bar she asks you what kind of drink you want and here you want to say that you want something hard then and you likely remember this scene right at the start of chapter 10 when both Tifa and Aerith are lying on the ground you have to check on Tifa first to get her cutscene can't sleep no you too? I heard footsteps. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night, that was from Aerith, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now... It's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home. And everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us again. You're hurting me. Uh. <sighs> it's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. That's not true. <clears throat> Thank you. But obviously, if we go back to the start of chapter 10, if you go to Aerith first, you have a higher chance to get her cutscene. It's also worth pointing out that you need to complete the chapters first 
to have the choices that you make safe. So even though this is at the start of chapter 10, you still have to finish chapter 10 for the game to remember your choice and for the cutscene to play in chapter 14. You can of course immediately after 10 jump to chapter 14, so that at least saves you some time. Chapter 8 is also very important for Aerith because you want to do all the side missions here because then just like in chapter 3 with Tifa, you unlock a special cutscene with Aerith in chapter 8. But we also want to go back to chapter 2 the first time you meet Aerith and where she wants to give you the flower. Here you want to say how much instead of turning it down. Good to note though is that if you accepted both the drink and the flower, then you can still get both scenes. Then it depends on the side missions, but if you did them both as well, like me in my first playthrough, then it depends on who you pick up at the start of chapter 10. Because that is actually the first time that you have to choose between both girls. And if you then choose Aerith, then you get her cutscene in chapter 14. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... <sighs> you need to embrace this moment. Right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. <sighs> Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. Thank you. And you can by the way find a quick summary on how to get each cutscene in the description of this video as well. But there's one left, namely the one with Barrett. And to get this cutscene, the drink and the flower doesn't really matter, neither does your choice at the start of chapter 10. Now you want to make sure that you do not do any of the side missions in chapter 8 and in chapter 3. 
So you at least have to do one side mission in chapter 3 for the story, but you just want to avoid the final cutscene with Tifa and the same goes with chapter 8, you immediately want to go to Aerith her house when you are able to do all the side missions, like when you stand in front of that Moogle kid, because then you will not trigger that cutscene with Aerith. And shout out to videogamers.eu for bringing the different cutscenes to our attention, and I will leave a link to that channel in the video description. But they note that chapter 9 also has an impact on this, but we tried it like we did all the side missions in chapter 9 and also none of them and it did not change the outcome. So basically skip the side missions in chapter 3 and 8 because they are tied to special cutscenes with Tifa and Aerith. Don't trigger them and then you get the scene with Barrett at the start of chapter 14. You should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything, except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy, howdy. No stamps in the tunnels. Finn's work, every one. Then there's Al, Intel guy. He had these tricks for steel and codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick them. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nelly had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took them for sisters, even. They'd say no way and get upset, but then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong, they're tough, like me. <laughs> After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. Awesome stuff, like I did not think that your choices would have such a big impact, but it's really awesome to see that they did this and it makes me even more interested in part 2 and how this will evolve because you would think that stuff like this would be present there too, right? If you found interesting things in the game, totally let us know in the comments down below. If you are new, subscribe for way more Final Fantasy VII Remake content, like the video to support the channel and check out the All The Dresses video by clicking on the screen because that actually also has different cutscenes depending on your choices. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.